Hey guys, it's Nick, and this is Crush Crush, an incremental game, and we're going to review it. This is a pretty decent game. It is a clicker, I'll show you. It is a, it is a clicker game. You are going to have to click, or get an auto-clicker, which is what I typically do, because I am uh, shameless. I don't think I have it on right now, but yeah, it helps a lot on this game. You're definitely going to want a clicker if you uh, don't mind a little bit of cheating. Um... So, this game, to start off, is basically you're trying to pick up girls, like most incremental games. You know, you're trying to uh, have the noblest of pursuits, which is picking up women. Um, and there's all different kinds of women here. I don't have them all unlocked, but there's a, like a cat girl. There's like a, I don't know, crazy chick. There is a rainbow dash, rainbow dash knockoff. Oh, cool. I keep getting stuff during this review. Uh, yeah, there's a Rainbow Dash knockoff, so that's really cool. I mean, that drew me in right there. Uh, whoa, hand lotion, damn. So, the basis of the game is to attract the girls, you need money to buy them gifts, money to take them on dates, and you need hobbies to increase certain stats, like suave, tenderness, funny, motivation, buff, wisdom, tech savvy, badass. There's a few more over here. When you get these unlocked, when you get these to certain levels, you get access to better jobs, which nets you more money. So you split your time between hobbies and jobs right here. And that's pretty much the meat of the game. Uh, right there. It's a pretty simple clicker, and to do, uh, to get their hearts up, do this. You click on them like that. And like I said, you're going to want an auto-clicker for that, because those numbers get pretty dang high. So to romance a girl, to get closer, you're going to want... They're going to have to have hearts, a certain level of a talent, or a stat, more like it. Like, buff is at 11. You can go over here, and that's surfing to get you buff. So you do that, and it takes time to level. And it takes quite a while as you go on. And gifts, a lot of the time. You'll need to buy them presents as well. And that gets you to the next level here. This, they send you, like, a picture. This, they start dating you somewhere in here. And I think this is uh, copulation, but uh, I haven't gotten there yet, so... I'll keep you guys updated when I do, but uh, it takes a while. It's a slow game. I think this is going to be quite a long incremental game. So if that doesn't interest you, if you're not ready to sit in for the long haul, I would probably avoid this one. Um, there's a few little things you can do, like when you complete certain milestones, you get these gems here, which you can spend in the store, obviously. You can use them to get more time. You can use them to speed up time, to skip time and to reset, and of course there is a cash shop as well, uh, which I find unnecessary. Um, if you're just, you know, have money pouring out your nose, you know, whatever, but uh, I don't feel like this game needs it, so I uh, can't recommend buying anything for it. Plus, I mean, it's so easy to idle, and you can just get an auto-clicker to do the heavy lifting for you, so not really relevant that it has a store, really. There are achievements, which also give you more time blocks, which is what you're really going to want. You're going to want to have as many of these as possible, because it makes it easier to upgrade your hobbies and get money at your various jobs that you'll be doing. Your stats screen, uh, I don't know what the hell's up with this, but uh, the picture seems to get more attractive as you uh, progress, which is kind of neat, because it starts off very ugly, like the eyes are all crappily drawn, and they get better and better, so I suspect this will be a pretty good looking picture when it's done. Which is kind of a neat little mechanic. Uh, let's see. So we've gone over the jobs. We've gone over hobbies. Uh, like I said, there's all sorts of girls. If you scroll down, there's... I think there's like 12 girls. And there's a few more they say are coming soon. But if I can be completely honest, which I am in these reviews, uh, these said coming soon when I played this game like a year ago. So, you know, take that for what you will. Uh, maybe they'll come out. Maybe they won't. <laughs> Uh, girls, jobs, hobbies, stats, like I said, uh, you can kind of design your little avatar here. I don't know why you would, uh, put these weird wigs on them, but hey, you can. Uh, yeah. So, next up, there's a prestige system, uh, as well, much like in, uh, Cookie Clicker or Realm Grinder or anything like that. It does exactly what you'd think it does. It speeds up, uh, when you reset, you get a bonus, and it says right there, this bonus speeds up job wages, hobbies, and girl cooldowns, like chatting. So, the game gets faster as you reset, basically. Which is good. Um, the reset system, I find, is a little too much. Uh, it gives you too much too fast. Because I played for about an hour. Uh, you know, kind of passively playing it for an hour. 
and I could reset to 2.49 times uh, my current rate, which, you know, is effectively doubles it. So you're not waiting for a reset. You do it, like, after an hour, which it just seems, like, too early to me. And then if you look at this, of course, this is quite a few hours I've played now, 2.86, I could tack on to that. So it seems like it gets exponentially faster too quick. I feel like that should be a little longer. And that's one of my few gripes with this game, actually, is just, uh, you know, you don't have to uh, wait. You have to wait too long. You don't have to wait long enough to prestige. Now, that being said, of course, you don't have to prestige. Um, so I guess that's uh, kind of out the window. You don't have to do it, but it feels like if you want to, it's going to make it really fast really quick, is what I'm saying. So, anyway, that's that. So it's got prestige system. Like I said, there are achievements, and you can sort them by completed, not yet earned, which is a nice simple feature that I think really uh, really helps a lot, makes it a lot less stressful. Standard settings menu, you can see the pictures they've sent to you and things like that. And I don't know if they ever get lewd. I kind of doubt they do. Honey Pop had some lewd uh, pictures in it. You can full reset. It's got a manual save. And yeah. So basically, that's pretty much it. That's the meat of the game. You're just sitting here getting girls, and uh, when you get to this, I believe, yeah, like I said, I believe it's uh, bedroom stuff, but uh, I'm not sure yet, so I'll let you know when I uh, when I figure that out, too. Overall, it's a pretty, uh, pretty entertaining little game. It's kind of neat. Uh, if you like incrementals, and you like having stuff running in the background, this one's kind of cool. Um, it's free on Steam. It's free on the web as well, if it's still up there. I'd believe it is. I think it's on Congregate or something. But, um, yeah. Pretty fun little game. If you like incrementals, give it a shot on Steam. Uh, of course, then it'll be in your history, so everyone will know that you played a game called Crush Crush. Uh, Romancing Cat Girls and the like. And, uh, Miss Knock Off Rainbow Dash here. But, if you're okay with that, then yeah, uh, this one... I don't really have a rating system, honestly. I've never bothered uh, coming up with one. But I would say Cookie Clicker being like 10, yeah, maybe 9, Cookie Clicker being 10, and one of those really shitty number go up games online where people put in zero effort, uh, where it's literally just a number and then another number, I would say this is probably, probably a 6, a solid 6 on my scale, so, you know, take it for what it is, that's alright. I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, I've been meaning to do this one for a little bit. Although it just came out on Steam recently, so that was kind of nice. I like playing stuff on Steam better. Uh, Alright, yeah. Thank you guys for uh, watching. I hope you learned something from this. And, yeah. I'll see you guys on another review. Probably going to be Honey Pop next, honestly. Because that's a pretty great fucking game. Take it easy.